I had actually uh, felt this pain when I first started to paint our mailbox holding a can of paint, believe it or not, and um, painting it uh, Cleveland Browns colors because my wife is a big Browns fan, so. When Rick came home from the orthopedist, he said, I have a tumor on my arm. And I remember just looking at him like, what, what are you talking about? He had a lesion, bony lesion in the, in the left arm that caused pain and went to orthopedics, had a lesion in the bone and they did a biopsy. And that showed multiple myeloma. You first hear the word cancer and it's go like, no, that, didn't, that can't happen to me. I mean, that was my reaction. When I saw Rick, Rick was very really scared. You know, if you tell me I have a cancer, even I treat cancer, I will be scared. I had never heard of multiple myeloma. It was extremely frightening. We have a 12-year-old son, and for me, it was cancer means death. Um, it was how long was he going to live? What did this mean? How is this going to change our life at that point? How progressive is this? Uh, how, how serious is this? You know, how life-threatening is this? Rick is a category of myeloma called a standard risk myeloma based on genetic abnormalities in the bone marrow. Uh, the standard of therapy nowadays is an induction therapy, uh, is initial chemotherapy to control the disease and then get them to a stem cell transplant. This modality of treatment can delay relapse most effective uh, from among all the therapy available we have. Well, it was explained to me by him pretty pretty clearly that it is a treatable illness, it, it doesn't get cured. Nowadays there are many modality of immune-based therapy that we can combine with this transplant, before transplant or after transplant. They are in pipeline of clinical trials, some of them we design here. For example, if today he comes to me with another a new diagnosed myeloma I can offer to him is we generate myeloma vaccine. We are one of the 15 centers around the country that we have this technology. Relapse is not uncommon. But the, the other thing, though, that was really encouraging is that the research being done is really pretty phenomenal. I'm hopeful, and Dr. Malik even said, you know, in a few years from now, there'll be all kinds of new medications and clinical trials that aren't available now that you'll be uh, afforded should you need it. Life is, is fairly routine if there is such a thing. We're not to dinner and riding horses, still working. I think, you know, I, I wrote a book recently. Life is normal as it can be right now, and we're living each day to the fullest. Without Seidman Cancer Center, my husband wouldn't be here today. We're very lucky.